walk through community interests. I appreciate everybody coming out so that we could break down some of the barriers between the police and the community, but also so that we can start working together so we can revitalize the neighborhood as well. A collaboration between Randallstown NAACP, Baltimore County Police, and other local leaders with a hope to reach people where they are. To talk to you while we walk, to understand your concerns and priorities of the type of policing, the priorities that you want to be our priorities in your community is so meaningful. As the walk got underway along the Liberty Road corridor, people shared what they want to see change. Some mentioned the need for more safe outdoor activities for teens, while others called for new tactics to stop speeders on neighborhood roads and how to strengthen commercial corridors. Concerns held by residents who've lived in these neighborhoods for decades. It means a lot. We've had a couple of walks, but I haven't been involved in any before. Council member Izzy Patoka says walks like this are vital because the county is as strong as its inner beltway neighborhoods. There are strong middle class neighborhoods. We need to keep them strong and the only way to keep them strong is to keep our heads down and focus on these nuts and bolts issues. Joseph McCard says it's simply the love of community that made him want to walk. Being able to get some ideas across and to make our communities better. That's the whole purpose is because we all have to live here and we have to resolve our differences and we certainly need as much help as we can. Another top priority bringing down overall crime in the county. County Executive Johnny Oshesky says it's because of partnerships like what we saw this evening that the county has driven down homicides 50% this year. We looked up the numbers and so far we've seen 22 cases this year. That's compared to 40 at this time last year. For now live outside Baltimore County Police Headquarters, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.